Hello, this is Bud. Brent has a situation where he needs to use a photo of a text message rather than typing it. He does not have the font that he needs in the language that he needs. So we're using a picture. So let's go to Carveride and Designer. Okay, in Designer we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Import Image from File and we're going to get the picture. And here's my picture. Next. And this first time, I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to lower this until the background disappears from the lettering. I'll try to get it as good as I can without destroying any of the features. I remove the floor this time. Do a finish and I'm going to save this as test one. So I'm going to do that. Be right back. Now let's do it again. Import image from file. Same picture. Next. Uh, taking the floor image or taking the floor edges off doesn't do anything, so I'm going to leave it there. And this time I'm going to do a test A, and I'm going to save it. Both times I'm saving it to favorites. So I'll be right back. Now let's open the board. I'll make this as large as I can. Okay, I'm going to Patterns. And I'm going to come down and let's get the test one. And bring it up here. I'm just going to enlarge it. So I can see what's going on all by eye. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to get to test A and put it down here. And do the same kind of thing. Now in both cases, what we're seeing is the carving bit, or the raster bit as it's called, uh, is going to carve the pattern with uh, clarity, but it's going to be either indented because it's within the box, or it's going to have uh, like a feather around it. Uh, because I've eliminated the box. In both cases, and, and that's not acceptable to what Brent wants to do. He's got a piece of wood that already has a finish on it uh, and all he wants to do is carve the letters. He does not want any background to be disturbed. Now if I click on invert and do the same thing here. We see that the pattern is now carved into the wood. It's not raised letters, but it's carved into the wood. Uh, the only thing I can say is it's going to a depth of a quarter of an inch, which with the raster bit uh, may be a little bit too deep for what Brent has um, and from my experience with the raster bit uh, unless you have a large surface area this may not work. It may not work anyway um, and Brent needs to realize that uh, it may be that what Brent needs to do is load a Hebrew font and use uh, a centerline bit um, 
the V-bit and you use center line if he has it. If not, he may want to buy it uh, <coughs> and do it that way. But he would need to load the Hebrew font as well. Uh, but depending on the size of the project, this may come out okay. But what I want to do is rather than having a depth of a quarter of an inch, I want to make it a tenth of an inch, which is 0.1. And I'm just going to accept that. And I'm going to do the same thing here on a point one. <coughs> okay, so in both cases, all I did was invert that picture so that what I'm doing is carving into the wood and eliminating any background. The first time I eliminated the background as I brought the picture in uh, through the import process. The second time, uh, I just took it as is. In both cases, I could double click and bring in Pattern Editor and do whatever cleanup I want to do within Pattern Editor. Uh, but it will still be a raster carve. So just so you know that uh, there's a lot of things we can do. Um, but for all intent and purposes, all I did was bring the picture in, remove the background on test one, leave the background on test A. The top one is test one. The bottom one is test A. In both cases, I, while I had it highlighted, I just click on the invert, and that changes from a recess type background. Get rid of this. I'm, I'm, um, not what I want. Anyway, it, it'll get rid of the recess. And I'm sorry I put this other one in there. Just by clicking on it, I've got it again. And that is just like the bottom one is. Uh, I, if I come over here to View, Carving List, uh, I can get rid of that so it's not there. Okay. Sorry about the confusion there. But there we have it. Test A is the bottom. Test one is the top. Both of them are inverted, as you can see. And I think that will resolve Brent's problem. And I would carve it on a test piece of wood, basically the same size as what my real project is going to be on, just to make sure that it carves correctly. But I think changing the depth from a quarter of an inch to a tenth of an inch will help quite a bit. Brett, I hope that gets you through. Talk to you later. <coughs>